helping this year's auction home. Hey, hello, and welcome to the M Table. I'm Jarvis Kaler with KHIH Radio, and I want to introduce you to the M Team. This is our team captain right here, and she's going to be captaining this table. This is Jackie. Our scribes right over here, we have Deanne and Diana. Hit it, girl, okay? And uh, this is ha handling the chalk right here is Sophie. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Our first item up for bid at the M Table. This is from Dry Creek Gallery. It's the uh, original African batik. It's untitled, the artist is unknown. Batik is crafted by the wax blocked and area method with elements added later. The background material is a fabric, and uh, the overall picture size is 32 by 16 inches. It's uh, in a black metal frame, valued at $85. So bid now on item 3M1575. It's item 3M1575. Let's move on now to item number 3M1333. Here we have a one-of-a-kind, handmade, hand-painted clock jewelry. The, uh, the artist is Norma Jean Burnt. She uses real pocket and wrist watches combines with stamps and other items to create some wearable art. Uh, the offering consists of earrings, measured one by two inches, and, and a pin that measures two and a half by three inches. So thank you, Norma Jean Burnt, for this unique donation. Uh, bid high for item number 3M1333. It's valued at $60. Let's move on now to a pewter candelabra. This is item number 3M1915. Actually, it's two candelabras. OK Antique Plating Company has donated this pair of graceful three lights KS Company Pewter Candelabra, each measuring 8 inches by 9 inches wide. The charming 1930s Art Deco Candelabra will look special in your home. So bid high and often on item 3M1915. It's valued at $80. Put that on your grand piano. Item number 3M1154 is a Prince. It's valued at $125. The Children's Enrichment Creative Discovery Centers have donated this untitled original print. It's signed by the artist Besson. The uh, clean lines and delicate shades of color portray a harmonious balance in the small bird, a flower, and a human hand in the lower right-hand corner. You may not be able to see it, but down here there's a human hand right there uh, in the corner of the picture. It's a lovely piece of art. The overall size is 11 by 10 inches. It's matted in gray and framed with a natural wood frame. Bid now on item number 3M1154. It's valued at $125. Remember, this is probably the only chance you'll get to take a look at these things. So as soon as you see something you want, jump on the phone. Item number 3M1533 is uh, a poster. Morgan Gallery of Inglewood has donated this signed poster by art artist Timothy Sutherland. It's titled Kenyon de Cheyi National Monument, Monument, and the poster is a photograph of the White Horse Ruins in Chenley, Arizona. The framework measures 28 by 22 inches. Poster can be yours. Call now. Bid on item number 3M1533. It's valued at $70. Move on number to uh, number 3M1488. This is a paper work of art. It's valued at $180. It's a clever handcrafted rendering by artist William Languish. Uh, he's, he's also the donor of the item. It's titled Gray Butterfly Number 8. It's crafted in hand and made co ha by handmade cotton fiber, and all coloring is hand dyed. The uh, overall size is 25 by 15 inches. It's shrink wrapped. Craftsman w William Languish values this work at $180. It's item 3M1488 for your bidding now. Get on the phone. Move now to item 3M1173. 3M1173. It's a print valued at $125. It's an embossed oval print, number 88 of 125, titled Poppies, and signed by the artist J.E. Fisher. It's uh, done in rich tones of yellow, maroon, and green, and the hand-colored border enhances, enhances this beauty. It's a classic shrink wrap piece, of, which measures 17 by 13 and a half inches, item 3M 1173, donated by the Children's Enrichment Creative Discovery Centers. It's valued at $125, and it could certainly brighten the any sized room. So I'll call and bid on that now. On we go to item number 3M1578. It's a watercolor. And look at this lovely piece of work. Trudy Hacker has donated this beautiful color. It's entitled Swan. This lovely restful piece is done mainly in colors of blue and white. It's a matted in beige and white. The framework measures 22 by 28 inches in a gold metal frame. We're grateful to Trudy Hacker for donating this painting. It's uh, item number 3M1578 and valued at 295. Bid now to make it yours. And now finally, look what we have here. We have a Van Gogh of Forbid. The last time this painting went up Forbid, it went for $37 million. Well, no, of course, this is a lithograph. It's item number 3M1293. And uh, as I understand it, the original did go for $37 million the last time it was uh, sold at auction. But this lithograph 
is uh, donated to us by, by uh, Frames and Artistry of Littleton, Sunflowers, a lithograph on canvas by famed artist Vincent Van Gogh. The arc is framed in brown wood, which enhances the gold, green, and amber tones of the flowers and vase. The, uh, the chauffeur will work measures 27 by 22 inches, so call in your bid now on item 3M number 1293. It's valued at $135. And that's a look at the the items we have for bid right now at the M table, the M team. And uh, we want you to come back by and, and visit us again. Watch bid and buy. Don't forget, winning bidders must wait by their phones for their confirming call. These things will be available for you for the next hour or two. Uh, remember, items must be picked up within 48 hours. We want you to keep in mind, our phones are busy. You can hear those folks in the background. They're busy, so to hop on and get in. If you want an item, make that first bid a high one. Make sure that you can get there. Thanks to the M team. And let's recap table K now. Hey, welcome again to the M table. I'm Jarvis Kayla with KHI Radio. This is the M team. Our team captain is Jackie. Manning, or I should say womaning the chalk. This is Sophie. Sophie. And uh, we have over here in our scribes, uh, Diana and Deanne. Now, if you can imagine what it would be like to have 200 people trotting around in hot studio lights uh, working this auction, then you have a pretty good idea of what's going on around me. So uh, all of us want to give a big thanks to the folks at Pepsi. We've been enjoying a lot of Pepsi products here, keeping us refreshed. We have uh, Pepsi Diet Pepsi, Dr. Pepper and Slice and Mountain Dew. Uh, Pepsi has also provided us with some dispensers, chips and ice, and so we're very, very grateful to the folks at Pepsi for bringing all these things for us down here. And, uh, Let's get going. What do you say? This, this is the M table. Remember, this is lot number seven. So every every number is going to start with number seven and the letter M. Seven M. And the first item up for bid is uh, seven M 1239. Uh, this is a bas relief wood carving of African musicians. It was donated by the Mori Collection. The artist named Inga is carved in the back of this solid piece of wood. If, you lean, if we lean this forward, you could see the uh, the artist's name is carved in the back of the piece of wood. The figures are deeply incised and uh, detailed. This piece measures 12 inches high. 22 inches wide and two inches thick. It's a bit of item number 7M1239. It's valued at $75. Get your call in on that one. Next, we move to item number 7M1471. This is a print. It's valued at $120. Brenda Lane Pumphrey is the artist and donor of this serograph and watercolor masterpiece of Purple Lilies titled Wishing. It is a limited edition. Only 40 of these were run off, and this is number 24. It's shrink wrapped. The dimensions are 40 by 32 inches. A bid now on item number 7M1471, which artist Pumphrey values, values at $120. Next, we have a frame collection of Valentines. Now, this will bring out the sentimentalist in some of you. It's item number 7M1908. Uh, donated by Kate O'Neill, five old-fashioned Valentines have been sent against, set against a pink background. They're enclosed in a silver frame, which measures 18 by 15 inches. These Valentines from Kate O'Neill would be a, it's just, it would look great in a little girl's room. What do you think? Call now. Bid on item number 7M1908. It's valued at $175. Now we have 7M1185. This is a mixed media uh, work of art. Uh, the Children's Enrichment Creative Discovery Center is the donor of this mixed media artwork. The uh, artist is Spencer. Frame is 13 by 13. It's a square frame. It's a multi-leveled arrangement of spattered, torn watercolor paper. That's really a spattered, torn watercolor paper. It doesn't sound artistic, but look at it. It's lovely. Topped with a postcard of the RCA building at night. The colors range from greens, golds, to muted reds and browns. Bid now on this interesting item, number 7M1185, valued at $110. Now we have item 7M1561. This is wearable art. What do you think? Uh, Gene Osborne has donated this stunning beaded belt. It has a silver buckle, tip, and loop. The hand beads, it is hand beaded in shades of brown, black, and white in a geometric pattern on a dark brown leather base. Look great on uh, with some jeans, pants, or shirts. It measures 30 inches, so it uh, can't be worn by just anybody in length. It's a one inch wide. Thanks to Gene Osborne, it can be yours for the high bid on item number 7M1561. It's valued at $175. Let's move up to this pastel. This is number 7M1513. The uh, pastel is valued at $80. It's uh, donated by Betsy. Two women in brightly colored blue and orange dresses are waiting to cross the street in a corner of downtown's 16th Street Mall. 
uh, downtown Denver. So this is actually, uh, if you can imagine, it's a, it's a local piece of art. It's framed in wood. The untitled piece measures 17 and a half by 14 and a half inches. This Betsy Barnes work can be yours. If you call now and bid high on number 7M1513, it's valued at $80. Next item for bidding is uh, donated by the Children's Enrichment Creative Discovery Centers. This is a print. It's valued at $250, number 7M122. And the artist has signed his work, simply William, and titled the wash study, Hot Coffee. This is a nice Western imagery a piece of artwork. Uh, the print is number four out of a run of 70. It has a double mat and is encased in a frame of wood. The overall size is 23 and a half by 20 inches. It's valued at $250. This is item number 7M1222, and bid on it now. Coming down now a little bit to the, this uh, photograph. This is item number 7M1266, valued at $100. It's a meditating feline. You cat lovers ought to get into this one. It's uh, up for bids. So Marvin Klumpus is the artist and the donor of this photograph, titled It's Double Matted Under Glass in a Chrome Frame, which measures 20 and a half by 16 inches. And we thank Marvin Klumpus for his work. It's valued at $100, and bid on it now at item 7M1266. I come down now to our final item in this particular grouping. This is 7M1553. It's a print valued at $156. It's an unusual pastel print of world-famous Africans and African-Americans entitled Resurrection. It's donated by Heritage Collection. It celebrates the lives of these historical figures, and it's uh, painted by Cornell Barnes. This print is valued at $156. It's framed in Corinthian-style gold, measuring 31 by 22 and a half inches. To bid on this open edition print, ask for item 7M1553. That wraps up this particular lot from the M team. Uh, we're waiting for your bids down here. So give us a call here, and we're going to move on. Let's have a look at this year's auction poster. Raymond L. Knob's Dramatic Oil Southwest Reflections has been exquisitely reproduced as KRMA's 1993 commemorative art. Ron? He's still micing up. It's all right. I have to put on a microphone to talk on this thing, don't I? All right. Well, I'm Jarvis Kaler. I want to welcome you back to Table M. Uh, with our captain over here, Jackie. This is Jackie. We're, so far, we're neck and neck with my buddy over there at Table A. Uh, it's, uh, Manuel has got some good competition over there. I have to thank Manuel for helping me with the pronunciation of one of these artists that I may be coming to here in just a moment. Before we get started, though, I want to say a big thank you to the uh, Children's Enrichment Creative Discovery Centers. They are the donors of this table. If you need to care for infants, toddlers, preschooler, or even uh, kindergarten classes, or before and after school care, you can uh, talk to these folks at the Children's Enrichment, Enrich Enrichment Centers. They provide loving, personalized services for all the needs of busy parents, and you'll want to bid high on these next beautiful items. Let's get started here with the first item. Uh, this entire lot is 11, so all the numbers will start with 11M, because we're table M. It's a 11M number 500. It's a print. This charming print was created by J. Elizabeth Fisher. The signed work is number 16 out of 125. It's titled Pasture. Two white rabbits are shown busily nibbling on a manor garden in front of a picket fence, and the scene is framed by a trellis covered with flowers. And the print measures 16 by 18, 18 inches, and it's been shrink-wrapped. These rabbits belong on your wall, I think. A bit now on item number 11M500, valued at $500, at, uh, $150, pay your pardon. Move on to uh, number 11M501. Uh, this is an embossed print. It's a unique landscape of shades in purple and sienna. Bowden is the artist and donor of this embossed print titled Mission Mountains. Creates a variety of fabric textures. This is 41 from a series of 100 prints. Specifications are 16 by 24 inches. It's shrink-wrapped, uh, item number 11M501 by Bowden, valued at $150, and it would be an acquisition to be proud of. We're going to move on now to one, the first of three in this uh, particular lot, which ought to go well together. You might want to, to bid on three paintings out of this lot. This is an English print from a bygone era. It is number 11M502, an engraving. Uh, we see the end of an English fox hunt with the demise of the fox, thus the title of the death of this particular piece of work. Uh, the, the original was done by artist T. Sutherland in 1821. It's shrink-wrapped. Spe specifications are 17 by 29 inches. It's valued at $125. This is item number 11M502, and bid on it now. And you may have two more that you, out of this group that you'll want to bid on. Let's take a look now at item number 11M503. This is an imprint embossed. It's a plaid print by artist Audrey Brindall Kahn. It's a unique rendering of contemporary art. The diversity of colors is bordered at the bottom with an embossed design. It's 14 of 100 prints. 
This is lavender matted, measures 18 and a half by 25 and a half inches, has a protective shrink wrap. Bid now on item 11M503. It's valued at $95. And just to mention here, I wanted to let you know the good people at Children's Enrichment are so focused on the needs of parents that they even offer sick children care at Joyce Corner in St. Joseph Hospital. And let's take a look at the rest of the items that they've donated. It's an attractive print of a Japanese actor. It's titled Kabuki 3. This is item number 11M504, valued at $125 by Barbara Spivak. It's number 8 of 50 prints. This meticulous rendering shows a kabuki actor in a gray traditional dress with a red and green sash. The print is 23 by 16 inches. It's shrink-wrapped. It'll enhance the de decor of your home or office, so bid now on item 11M504, valued at $125. Now, here's item the second of a group of prints that ought to go well together. This uh, would go well with the death. It's item number 11M505. Here we have a colored lithograph of a racehorse and rider, dated 1755. This English print from that same bygone era is in, by an unknown artist. The shrink-wrapped print measures at 17 and a half by 18 inches. It's valued at $95, so bid now on item number 11M505. And here we have a poster uh, for native Denverites who ought to enjoy this. Uh, this is by the signed uh, and titled artist uh, by, called Afternoon in the City. It's depicting Denver's famed 16th Street Mall. This is item number 11M506. The artist, Barbara Fruller, and I have to thank Manuel over there for letting me know the correct pronunciation, is Barbara Frula has a tastefully designed to print here. It uses delicate washed colors in lovely shades of orchid and tan. This shrink-wrapped poster measures 25 and a half by 20 and a half inches. Item number 11M506 is valued at only $60, so bid now to become its proud owner. We'll move on now to item number 11M507. This is a print. It's, a, it's an untitled print, and it's an artist proof. It has been signed illegibly by the unknown artist, but there is an artist's signature on it. A birdcage containing a tree with a cat and a person in the branches. It hangs from a cloud above the orchard. The shrink-wrapped print measures 26 and a half by 20 inches. So bid now on item number 11M507. It's a $225 value. Here we have 11M508. This is a print valued at $150. And look at the, the loud colors in this print. It's really eye-catching. It's a stylized print titled Eagle has been donated for your next bid. Artist Mark Henderson has depicted an American Indian bird in flight bearing the traditional colors of yellow, green, white, black, and orange. The attractive print is 27 by 21 inches on studio paper. Shrink-wrapped, it's number 126 out of 170. So bid now to own item 11M508. It's valued at $150. And here we have the last of our items, and it's also the last of these three prints that would go so well together. Look at this castle in the old English setting. It's a timeless etching of another era in, in England, item number 11M509. Actually, it's an etching, valued at $125. The work was done originally by artist Thomas Hearn in 1784. It's titled Rothesay Castle. You have to say that like a pompous, pompous English person. Rothesay Castle, I think. The etching is mounted on studio paper. It's shrink-wrapped. It measures 21 by 29 inches. Item number 509 is valued at $125. It'd make a nice addition to your home or office. And one more time, we want to say a thank you to Children's Enrichment. They continue to live up to their theme, where loving and learning go hand in hand. They have 13 centers throughout the metro area, and they've served the needs of busy parents since 1979. Providing the next generation of quality child care, Children's Enrichment is the answer to all your child care needs, and the Channel 6 Art Auction is the answer to all your art needs. Makes sense to me. Let's move on now. Now remember, if, uh, if you want to make a bid on these items, our phones are really busy. You ought to see all the activity going on uh, behind the cameras here. So make sure your first bid is high. Get it in there, and uh, let's go on to the Art Auction Big Board now. And welcome. Wow. <laughs> That was loud. <laughs> Welcome to the Art Big Board. The uh, first one of this evening, first one in auction history, we think maybe that we're doing quite this way. I'm Cynthia Hessen from Channel 7, and on the Big Board tonight, we have some wonderful things. Hi, this is Jarvis Kaler with KHIH Radio. We are now at the Collector's Board. I want to welcome you back. We've changed to captains. This is Captain Fred. It's going to be helping me out here. We want to, to, to get you to, to know how this uh, collector's board works. You're going to be seeing everything uh, we're about to show you twice. And each item is valued at, at least $500. And these items will be shown again in a few minutes. We'll give you a recap. And then they'll be sold after the second presentation during the bid-off. 
Minimum bids of $150 are required in order to place a bid on these collector's board items. Remember, these are going to be shown twice, and it'll be sold during a bid-off after the second showing, so be sure to bid high on these ex exquisite art items. And I'll explain how the bid-off works here in just a moment. Uh, before we get started, we want to say a thank you to Crawford, Inc. If you haven't seen the beautiful art collection of uh, poster by Raymond L. Gnob, well, just wait a while. We'll show it to you tonight. The subtle beauty of the Southwest Reflections art poster is made possible by Crawford, Inc. They're at 1101 South Manic in Denver with their donation of the ink for the posters for the postcards. Suppliers of environmentally friendly ink and printing supplies, Crawford Inc. will make your projects as spectacular as they've made our art poster. Thank you to Crawford Inc. Now let's get going with the spectacular art we have down here. It's kind of in a funny uh, arrangement, but uh, I think our cameramen can handle it. So let's start first with item number 15CB1052. This is a transparent watercolors titled Turbulence. It's by artist Ed Brookins. He's the donor of this landscape of nature's display of hillside and turbulent waterfall. The viewer is treated to a panorama, panorama of pristine color, very deftly handled by artist Ed Brookins. It's an tr attractive, attractively triple matted in a chrome metal frame measuring 32 by 40 inches. And the value is listed at $1,000. This is item 15 CB 1052 for your bidding. bidding. Now next up we have uh, item number 15 CB 1059. This is a pastel. It's valued at $1,200. The donor and artist of this pastel titled Morning Mist Cimarron Valley is Jan Myers. It's a landscape study of East Taos, New Mexico. You can see the value wrapped in a veil of morning mist. A fresh start to a new day on the prairie. Pale pinks and greens add to the allure of this peaceful work. It's double matted and framed in white wood. Overall measurements are 29 by 37 inches, and we're grateful to artist Jan Myers for the donation of this pastel. It's valued at $1,200. It's item number 15, CB 1059. Get your bids in now. Move on now to a weaving wall hanging. This is uh, item number 15, CB 1075. It's also valued at $1,200. Talented weaver artist Barbara Liebler donates this decorative wall hanging. It's titled The Captain. The theme is taken from Old Town up in Fort Collins. The innovative work is fully hand-woven in multicolored rayon and cotton fibers. The illustrations on the wall hanging are cleverly printed on netting and attached to the surface, lending a most creative effect. The overall size is 29 inches by 6 feet 4 inches. So find a nice big wall to hang this on. It's by artist weaver Barbara Liebler. She values her wall hanging at $1,200. This item is 15 CB 1075. Now we come up to a watercolor. This is valued at $630. It's item 15 CB 1061. This is by artist Zhao Jiwei. It's donated by Frames West of Denver. It's a soft watercolor painting titled Raining in Shanghai. The pastel shades are evocative of the French Impressionists. This has been handsomely framed on silvery wood with rose and top mats. Overall size is 30 and a half by 26 and a half inches. And this lovely watercolor, item 15 CB 1061, it's valued at $630. It's waiting for your bid. Now we're going to jump across to a piece called Fantasy Lace. Uh, this is an airbrush mixed media piece. It's item number 15 CB 1073. The artist donor is William Craig Harris. So we have here an abstract montage of intertwined media, including airbrush and oil. The main colors used, utilized are copper and teal, and the work is single matted in black. The overall size is 35 by 46 inches in a carved antique gold wood frame. It's valued by artist Craig Harris at $950. This is item number 15, CB 1073. It's up for your bidding now. Let's move down to item number 15, CB 1076. It's a print. This is valued at $750. It's by Janice Woods. She donated our next item, a limited edition print. It's number 58 of 1,000, titled Ruddy Ducks. This is a print of an intricately detailed painting of a male and female duck in the wild. The mats are black and olive, and the frame is dark wood with an inner border of antique gold wood. It measures 30 by 24 and a half inches. It's valued at $750. And this limited edition print can hang on your den or study if your bid is the highest on item 15 CB 1076. Now we scoot over to a landscape pastel. This is item number 15 CB 1082. It's uh, Paula Morell donated her work. It's done in jewel tone pastels titled Sage and Foothills. The artist is a native Coloradan, and her love for her home estate shows in this vivid depiction of sagebrush and foothills. It's been done in predominantly teal blue, magenta, and rust. It's double matted in matching teal blue and purple with a pale wood frame. The artwork measures 37 inches by 29 inches. This original pastel by Parker artist Paula Morell is valued at $585. So start bidding now. Call in with your bid on item number 15CB1082. 
Next we have a photograph. This is item number 15 CB 1088. It's valued at $750. Friends of Channel 6 donated this untitled antique photo of an African-American woman from the 1890 federal period. The photo is an example of early hand tinting and is covered by a convex oval glass. This photograph is rare in a superior, and it's in superior condition. The gilt frame measures 18 by 24 inches and needs some retouching of the gilding. This work is by an unknown photographer. It's valued at $750. It'll go to the highest bidder on item 15 CB 1088. And now we have a three-dimensional piece of work. This is a chess set. At item 15 CB 1092, we have a wood chess set. Now take a look at this piece. It's very unusual, southwestern chess set. It's been donated by Ruth Lloyd Vonneville. It's a touch of Santa Fe in Littleton. The 21-inch square, square board consists of squares of pastel